you get me what's good everybody it's your boy lario thank you for joining me welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna go over how to mix your beats in five minutes yes it's that simple you don't have to do a ton of work before we hop into it i want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor distrokid check out this quick video real quick i wanted to talk about promo cards by distrokid Promo cards are a great way to promote your music on social media. They're also a great way to save yourself time and money so you don't have to outsource to a graphic designer or figure out how to do it yourself. To access promo cards, simply go to your More menu, click Promo Cards, select a song, and instantly have tons of generated images for your social media platforms. To download to your camera roll, just simply click and hold. Then you can upload to your desired platform. If you don't have an account with DistroKid, hit the link down in my description to get 7% off now. Let's hop back into the video. So here we have a beat that I did have mixed before, but for the purposes of this video, I wanted to just strip everything down, basically. Uh, by now, a lot of you probably know already how to route everything to your mixer. If not, you can check out one of my latest videos, shows you how to route everything to your mixer and how to get it super organized. I'll put a link right here. Let's hear what it sounds like unmixed, and then I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process that I go through to mix a beat. Now it doesn't sound too bad because a great big deal of finding and getting a good mix is sample selection. Having great sounding samples to start with. I use a lot of Cymatic stuff and they have great quality sounding samples. Beat mixing is probably in my eyes 90% leveling and 10% you know EQing, maybe compression, maybe some effects. I already did what's called gain staging a little bit. In FL Studio, for instance, you have these levels on the left-hand side over here, and if you're just playing your beat, and as I add sound by sound, I'm kind of doing a pre-mixing, if you want to call it that, where I'm gain staging and turning down these levels before they even hit the mixer. If I play this sound and I look in the mixer, you're going to see where the level's hitting, and we want it to be around negative 12 to negative 20 just to start off with to get a good starting point. So in the mixer, we can see that it's a little high. And now after I've done the gain staging in here, I don't want to turn this too much lower than this in the channel rack. So I'm going to do the rest with the fader in the mixer. That seems about right. So now that we have that level started, we can kind of make our way across the mixer and kind of level each sound. I like to start with the melodies and then get into the drums. I'm going to solo out this main sound and then kind of bring every other sound in as I start leveling. That sounds like a good level, and I'll maybe do a little bit of stereo separation on these two to just get, you know, that wider feel. Now that I'm listening to these two sounds together, I'm going to throw an EQ on that first sound and the second. And I'm just going to look at these EQs side by side. This is the second one. This is the first one. Let's uh, kill a little bit of high end on this one and boost a little bit of highs on this one. I like that. With this, I'm going to add some reverb. I already have a reverb send here. Let's add some reverb to that. It's going to give it more of a distant feel. I'm also going to put an EQ on that one. And I'm going to do a drastic cut on the highs. And the lows. Just kind of get this mid, mid-high range. We have this piano that's super deep. Let's get some stereo separation on that. An EQ. So we're just gonna, you know, turn down some of the uh, really high frequencies and the high mids. All right, let's introduce the 808 and the kick. I'm gonna make those fully mono, and that sounds loud. You could throw a side chain on that if you'd like, so highlight the kick. Hover over the 808 side chain to this track and there's a ton of ways to do this and I know people yell at me all the time for doing it this way but I put the limiter on I put it on the compressor and I side chain number one and then I adjust the threshold and the ratio and then just give it a listen it's got to be very subtle we're not trying to do it for effect just mix I'm gonna pull the release back so that way we're not crushing too much of that 808 Yep, just a subtle side chain there nothing crazy I don't even think I'm gonna put an EQ on the 808 or that kick. They sound good together. With the clap, I like to look at the levels between the 808 and the kick and kind of match my clap to around that, maybe make it a tiny bit louder than the kick in the 808. The rim shot, I like to be lower than the clap. All 
a trick that I like to use sometimes, and it's maybe just a mental trick, is I look away from the from the computer screen. That will force you just to use your, only your ears. This is effects impact that I have. I'm gonna lower that volume, stereo separate, and add some reverb. Lower it a little bit more. So that's going to wrap it up. Make sure you hit that link down in the description to get 7% off DistroKid. Shout out to my sponsor. Thank you again for joining me. Catch me in the next video. Make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.